Okay, so you've created uh, the tables in MySQL Workbench, and what I want is the um, table creation statements in a SQL uh, format in a uh, what's called a MySQL dump file. So uh, here's how we'll do it. This isn't the normal way, but if you if you're not familiar with it, I think if you're not familiar with MySQL, this is probably uh, the fastest way to get to where I want you to get. So what you need to do is um, select all four of the uh, tables. So you created those four tables there. Select all four of them. Good. Now go to the menu at the top, and uh, under database, select forward engineer. And in here, just leave, uh, leave what you see here alone, and s select continue. Now here I want you to change this. So I want you to add um, generate separate create index statements, generate insert statements for tables, and um, let's see, down below where it says code generation, select drop objects before each create object. And, um, and that's fine, now select continue. Um, oh, okay, so the, the SQL um, server is not running. So go to um, the terminal. So there's a, a terminal at the bottom of the screen, picture of the terminal. And type uh, MySQLD, my, M-Y-S-Q-L-D, letter D, press enter. Okay, now the, the uh, server is running. So before the error message that you got said you can't connect to the server, the reason was that the server wasn't running. I think there's a way you can start the server from within MySQL Workbench, but I don't know it off the top of my head, so I'm just gonna, this is just gonna be a quick way to get what we want. Okay, now go back to the other uh, thing and, oops, no, go, uh, continue. Okay, yeah, now um, the password here I suspect is student, lowercase, st, U D E N T. Okay. Okay. Now it says um, export MySQL table objects. That's exactly what we want. That's all that we have. So continue. Collect, select continue. Yeah. And this is the script now. This is what I want you to submit. This is a plain text file, although it's being shown in with syntax highlighting. Um, so we're, see where it says save to file in the lower left hand corner. So save it and give it a file name. Untitled isn't that great. Yeah, your name is good. Whatever. Uh, no, that's not good. You're not going to remember what that. I would just say, yeah, condo, and then um, say, um, I don't know, zero 01 or something. OK, good. And notice that it says it's going to be saved in documents. That's fine to say, well, okay, yeah, if you want to save it on the desktop, that's fine too. Okay, now let's take a look at the um, desktop. Continue. I think if you press, no, 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 uh, that, this is, that's all irrelevant here. Um, you can press student, or type of student there. Okay. Okay, now notice that there was an error, and look at where the error took place. The error took place as a duplicate entry, 93 for key primary. Okay, so now let's go to the desktop and take a look. No, do, well, you're going to still want that. No, le, le, don't, don't get rid of that. Yeah, okay, that's one way to look at the desktop. Yeah, there we go. Okay, see that? Now we want to open that. If you right-click it, it'll show you what programs are available to open it with. Oops. So you're going to have to right-click it again. And notice how it said fetching. Okay, no, don't open it with that. Don't open it with that. Go down to uh, either text edit or text wrangler. Those are both plain text editors. Okay, good. Now, um, I don't know if text edit can number lines, so actually let's get out of this. Just close this. Uh, I'm pretty sure that text wrangler can number lines, so okay. open it in text wrangler instead. Okay, and the not lines are already numbered, so let's go down to line 93. I think that, that that error message was referring to line 93, but maybe not. No, I guess not. Um, there was a duplicate entry. 
go back to this uh, error message right here. And um, there is a duplicate. Oh, I see. So it says values 93, L10. Okay, let's go back to um, Text Wrangler. This must be Text Wrangler right here. Okay, now um, we inserted these values. Okay, wait, do this. Uh, 8, 2, 2, 4, 3. Go down farther. Okay, so there's something duplicated here. Um, somehow this seem, this claims to be uh, entered in twice, and I'm not really sure how that how this happened. Um, Can I know what is duplicated? Right? Duplication and identity See, 190 succeeded and one failed. Mm -hmm. So. Uh, anyway, I'm just going to zoom in on that uh, error message. We might want to look at that later. I'm going to save this video, and you can look at it later. Go back to that, the other uh, text wrangler. This is the file that I want you to submit, okay? So put this in the Dropbox, and then I can tell you if you did it right. Now, um, let's let's take a quick look at it and see what, what we think. I think you, I suspect that this is correct, but go back up to the top. Okay, you are at the top. Okay, so let's see, drop table. My Language ID, language name, priority ID, priority level. Go down farther. Um, student language, primary key of. Well, this is not a. Okay, this is problematic because if language pref ID is is the key here, uh, we're going to have more than one value of this in here. I don't see quite how. Let's go down to the student language table and see how you implemented this. Um, oh, okay. Oh, I see. So you have this extra column that, do, to me, doesn't really mean anything. So this is the language preference, and this is the student. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. All right. This is fine. I this I think this is somewhat unnecessary because you could make a concatenated uh, primary key out of these three and omit this. But that's fine. That's okay. This is this is actually quite good. This is fine. Um, this this definitely does it. You're still going to have to track down that one error, though. Okay. There's an error message in there. Um, and the way that I would track it down in, uh, um, the way that I would track it down is uh, I would make a copy of all of these statements um, and try sorting them in different ways. I'd copy these statements into another file and try sorting them in different ways to see if I could figure out what's going on. Um, and I'll, I'll look at that separately, but I'm going to stop this video now because this, this tells us enough. So simply put this file from the desktop into the Dropbox, and that's part one.